Hi everyone, uh, this is RJ Enseñado and welcome back to my channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So in today's video, I will discuss another distance, rate, and time problem about upstream and downstream. So may nakita akong uh, problem sa... Ewan ko kung nakita itong FB group, so medyo challenging itong problem na ito. Eh. So ito yung, uh, ito yung problem. So ayan. Okay? So, a boat uh, covers 24 miles upstream and 36 miles downstream in 6 hours. While it covers uh, 36 miles upstream and 24 miles downstream in 6.5 hours. Find the speed of the stream. Yeah, so ang hinaharap natin dito is speed ng stream. Pero di ba, uh, speed ng stream or ito yung... Uh, yung current din to speed ng stream so yung yung current so speed ng ng current ng hinahanap natin dito so may choices tayo so 1 miles per uh, 1 mile per hour 2 3 4 miles per hour so yun yung mga choices natin so med medyo challenging ito kasi medyo mahaba ang solution nito so ano ba formula ng distance rate and time di ba we have uh, uh, formula ng distance ay rate times time. Pero ang given dito, so sulat mo na nga natin yung mga given. Medyo maraming given eh, no? Boat covers 24 miles upstream and 36 miles downstream in 6 hours. So given, yung given natin, balikan upstream and downstream in 6 hours. So, magpupuha natin equation dito ay So, magpupuha natin kasi yung time. So, di ba ang formula ng time? Distance is equal to rate times time. So, ang formula ng time ay distance distance over rate. E, may, ang given naman natin dito given distance eh, no? So, given, given, yung, given yung distance kaso, yung given na distance balikan upstream and downstream. So, pwede natin isolve yung time. Nawawala yung R kasi. Hindi natin alam yung R. So, mag-let tayo ng let natin yung R kasi upstream at downstream walang given eh. No? So, mag-let na lang tayo ang X ay upstream. Ito yung speed upstream and then yung Y downstream. So, mag-acron tayo dito ng uh, System of equations, x and y. Okay? Tapos, di ba, ang speed ng upstream, tsaka downstream, di ba, tandaan nyo, yung speed ng boat, tsaka ng current, kapag, kapag upstream, kapag upstream ay speed ng boat, minamino si current. Okay? Tapos, itong downstream naman, speed ni boat, plus si current. So, ibig sabihin, isosolve natin yung x and y. Then, after solving the value of x and y, isosolve pa natin yung, yung c. c is the current, or yung stream. So, yung hinahanap natin dito is yung c. Pero, mahirap kapag dadiretyo tayo dito, kaya maglilet muna tayo, ang x kay upstream, ang y kay downstream. Okay? So, buuin natin ang ating system of equations. So, we have a boat covers 24 miles upstream. So, 24 miles upstream. So, therefore, distance over rate yun. So, distance ay 24 miles over R, upstream yun, X. Plus, yung, yung time naman natin sa downstream, we have 36 miles over Y. Parang ito yung ano, time, time ni downstream, ni upstream, plus time ni downstream, equals, may given na time, 6 hours down. Okay? So, yan ang ating equation. So, ito ang ating equation number 1. Mahaba, equation number 1 pa lang yan. Tapos, may equation number 2 tayo. While it covers 36 miles upstream, so may isa pa, 36 miles upstream, so over x yun, plus 24 miles, 24 miles downstream. Makukuha naman siya in 6.5 hours. So, ito naman ang equation number 2. Then, the question, find the speed of the stream. Okay? So, find the speed of the stream. So, ayan. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, medyo challenging ito. <laughs> System of equation, tapos fraction pa. So, paano natin isusolve yan? Hirap? 
Tapos tingnan nyo, elimination nga gamitin natin para mas madali. So isipin natin, paano natin may eliminate, pwede natin eliminate ng x, x or y. So kailangan, syempre, para may eliminate ang x or y, kailangan parehas yung numerator nila. Ito 24, ito 36. Ito naman, nabaligtad lang, no? Ito ay 36, ito ay 24, tapos 6.5. So, kunin muna natin ang LCD na 24 at 36. So, what is the LCD of 24 and 36? So, LCD, ang 24 saka 36, so ang LCD nila ay, paano ang LCD nila ay factor, ang common na factor ng 24 and, 24 and 36, parehas silang may 12. So, ito ay 12 times 2, ito namang isa ay 12 times 3. So, therefore, ang LCD nila is, Di ba, pag nag-LCD tayo, minumultiply lang natin yung factors nila, tapos yung naulit, isang beses lang natin imumultiply. So, therefore, the LCD, naulit yung 12, so we have 12 times 2 times 3. So, the LCD is 2 times 3, that is 6 times 12, 72. So, therefore, para makancel natin, ah, parehas namang 24, 36, oh, pwede natin isolve ang X, pwede rin ang Y. Dahil parehas namang 24, 36, 36, 24. Okay, so gawin natin 72. Gawin natin 72 si 24 over x saka 36 over x. Gawin natin 72 over x. So, by, elim by elimination method, nung 24, imumultiply natin sa 3 para maging 72. So, equation 1, 3 times equation 1, isasubtract natin yung equation 2, imumultiply natin sa 2 naman ito. So, 2 times equation number 2. So, imuminus natin. Okay? So, lahat, numerator lang naman imumultiply natin. So, lahat, imumultiply sa 3. Okay? So, we have 3 times 24. So, that is 72 over x. 3 times 36. So, that is equal to 108. So, plus 108 over y equals 3 times 6, that is 18. Okay? So, next. Equation number 2, i-multiply natin sa 2. So, 36 times 2, that is 72. So, we have 72 over x plus 24 times 2, we have 48 over y equals 6.5 times 2. So, that is equal to dalawang 6 ay 12, may 0.5 pa, so 13. Okay? So, next ay subtract natin. O pag sinubtract, direct na natin dito yung sagot, baka hindi magkasya. Okay, so subtract natin. Siyempre, kaya nga tayo nagsubtract para mawala to. 72 over x, minus to ha. Minus. Ibig sabihin ng minus, change all the sign. Magiging negative, magiging negative, magiging negative. Okay? So, 72 over 72, x, Ayan, 72 over x minus 72 over x. Zero na yun. So, 108 minus 48. That will give us 10 minus 4. So, 60 over y equals 18 minus 13. That is equal to 5. Therefore, cross multiply. May over 1 to, di ba? Kumpletuhin natin. Nagyan natin ng over 1 para mas madali. Ratio and proportion na lang yan, di ba? So, and shortcut sa ratio and proportion kinukross multiply na pag ratio and proportion. So, therefore, we have 5y equals 60. Then, divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. So, therefore, y is equal to 12. Okay? So, ang rate downstream ay 12 miles per hour. Rate yan yung downstream. Okay? So, rate yung downstream ay 12 miles per hour. So, masasolve na natin si upstream. So, anong rate yung upstream? Mamili na kayo kung saan yung gustong i-substitute, 1 or 2. Kahit anong dyan sa dalawa, ano bang mas madali? Parehas na bang madali, no? Kasi dito na lang tayo, so walang decimal. No? Kung may decimal, medyo nakakalito eh. So, substitute y equals 12 in equation 1. So, we have 24 over x plus 36. Okay, ba? <laughs> 36 over y, which is 12, equals 6. So, therefore, we have 24 over x plus 36 divided by 12, so that is 3 equals 6. Subtract, combine nyo itong 3 at 6, so subtract 3 to both sides. Okay, subtract 3 to both sides, so therefore we have 
So, kalitan natin, minus 3 to both sides. So, wala na ito. So, therefore, we have 3. Then, kagaya na nito, dito, baka hindi ito mas dyan. Titignan natin. So, cross multiply lang. Over 1 ulit ito. Over 1 ulit yan. Tapos, cross multiply. Basta walang denominator. Lagyan natin ng 1 para madali. Just cross multiply. Yung x, lagyan natin sa left side na. So, x times 3, we have 3x equals 24. So, therefore, divide uh, both sides by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 24 divided by 3 is 8 miles per hour. So, ito ang speed ni speed ni upstream ay 8 miles per hour. Speed ni downstream ay 12 miles per hour. Okay, so hindi pa doon natatapos dahil speed, ang nasunod natin, speed ni upstream at speed ni downstream. Ang hinahanap natin ay speed ng stream which is the current. So, kunin muna natin itong substitute natin ngayon ito. B minus C at B plus C, ito yung value. So, upstream ay B minus, minus C, downstream is B plus C. So, ayan yung both at current. Okay. So, another system of equation ang mabubuo natin. So, we have B minus C equals 8. And then, we have B plus C equals 12. Ayan. So, system of equation ulit. Palagyan na natin to equation 3. And then, we have equation 4. Ah, pero madali na ito eh. Kasi, i-add na lang natin ito eh. I-add na lang kasi we have negative C and positive C. Hindi na natin kailangan i-multiply. So, by elimination method, just add. Just add equation 3 and 4. So, maka-cancel out na. Maka-cancel out si C. Dapat ang i-cancel out natin si B. Pero dahil opposite na yung sign nila. Sige, solve muna natin si B. Tsaka natin isolve. Tsaka natin isolve si C. Plus lang ang gagawin na kasi negative and positive na to So, add lang natin. So, B plus B, we have 2B. Kanina minus ang ginawa kasi parehas positive. Ito opposite sign na kaya add naman. Equals 8 plus 12, we have 20. So divide both sides by 2. So therefore, the speed of the boat is equal to 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay? So hindi pa ito yung final answer. Ang final answer ay CC. So substitute natin. Substitute. Ayan, so haba, no? Nakatatlong ano tayo. Araw, ah. Substitute. B equals 10 in equation number number 4 na lang para wala ng negative. Negative pa kasi ito eh. In equation number 4, so we have B plus C equals 12. So yung, yung B papalitan ng 10. So we have 10 plus C equals 12. Subtract 10 to both sides. Ayan, tapos na C is equal to 2. So therefore, the rate of the current or rate of the stream is 2 miles per hour. Okay? So, sana nasundan nyo. Medyo mahaba. Gumamit tayo ng dalawang system of equations kung saan yung isa ay rational pa. Rational equation pa may denominator. Okay? So, kung satisfied kayo sa aking uh, sa aking explanation, click nyo lang yung like button at Yan, dito sa bottom right, meron dyan subscribe. Subscribe na rin kayo. Okay, so, pakishare na rin kung nagustuhan nyo ang aking explanation. So, maraming salamat, salamat sa lahat ng mga uh, sumusuporta at mga nanood. So, bye-bye and God bless.